Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online. Welcome back once again to CC, the test server for EVE Online where CCP is holding a mass test. Bit of a surprise mass test, we didn't get a warning uh, much more than a few hours before we actually got going. But luckily I saw it just in time because we are testing the heraldry. First few items are out, it's the Corp logo and the Alliance logo. Um, I haven't... Uh, uh, I don't have those activated just yet, but it does work normally uh, on the prophecy that I've got here because that's a request for the first test step. So they want us, I think, to just mass undock uh, with disabled uh, emblems. Yep, there you go. Uh, and I can show you this though. So you have to go to the fitting window. Uh, so we might actually start off with a crash. Uh, so first, this is your regular a uh, bit of, uh, of fitting and then if you go to personalize you've got your skins and then you get the emblems which is the alliance logo and the corporation emblem which we got from uh, a, a station in Jida actually everything has been basically prepared so that it was free for this mass test but we have to start like this so I chose uh, a Triglavian skin uh, which is pretty cool animated as well just to see uh, what happens but uh, let's hope that everything works okay because uh, we should have like a hundred people that will undock all be on grid and then activate their emblems at the same time could uh, mean trouble but that is of course why we are holding these tests so I personally am pretty damn curious to see how it will work and uh, what the performance will be like when everyone uh, enables it now it's a pretty small um, uh, these are pretty small heraldry logos so hopefully it's all all right but yeah it's the first time that we'll be doing this and yeah this skin is really cool um, undock from the keep star the emblems should be disabled stop your ship after you undock so we'll do that we will be undocking we'll take a quick look around and then we'll stop our ship so that everyone will be, well, not too close together, but there's definitely going to be people here. So there's uh, battle cruisers, some frigates, and some transport ships, dreadnoughts as well. Uh, so here we go. I am undocking. I'm pushing ahead just a little bit. And I will zoom in on my ship. And so here is the... Everyone at Brutix has it as well. That's true. Uh, I bought a Myrmidon one as well. Uh, and then back there you get a lot more people at the ready. So now we are tethered and I think I have to just get ready on the um, on the fitting window. We'll do something like that. Oh no, I have to be able to click. So maybe we'll go like this. And so far, well, no, that's actually ooh, interesting skin there as well with its own holographic uh, part. That's a pretty cool choice. The emblems should be disabled, so I'm not seeing too many to, uh, on the ships that are really close to me. There's the dreadnoughts. That could be that could be cool. Up there, more dreadnoughts. And uh, yeah, let's just hope that it works out. So this is what it looks like on the CCP Keepstar. Lots and lots of ships on the undock. And then let's see what happens when we get to go. I'm sure CCP is then also going to track everything. Uh, the main goal is to see if you know it doesn't impact performance too much. So we are ready and in place. I'm also looking at a couple of other battle cruisers. I know that the Drake gets the emblem like on top on top in the middle for the Alliance logo. Not sure where the others get them. Uh, and we get them down here for the prophecy. Open your fitting window, but do not change anything yet. So, all right, I'm a little bit ahead here. I opened up the uh, the fitting window, <laughs> and we are ready. Uh, Overview-wise, this is everything is disabled. Yep, so that we can view stuff. All right, and then. We want to take it one step at a time, of course. Well, let's see what happens. This is basically the first time that we'll have a lot of ships that will uh, all of a sudden have to render, uh, or a lot of clients that all of a sudden are going to have to render these uh, emblems uh, in, I think, a pretty big way with how many? 135 people in local, probably a little bit over 100 on the grid here. So 
fitting window is open personalize emblems we already go i can click here here or here and here and you can see uh, that it, it is the logo from my alliance the uh, the um, logo from my uh, youtube channel as well which uh, i managed to get in there thank you very much for that ccp and then this is our corporation logo we chose that uh, like many many years ago thought it was really cool like a like an eagle type uh, logo um, and that should show up like right at the front of the ship there somewhere so hopefully all of the uh, measuring stuff is ready on CCP's end and then we'll have Phoenix's Revelations Merlin I think uh, that was available as well small frigates were available um, so should be pretty interesting Lashak, no. So, uh, no Triglavian ships. On my countdown, please enable the Corp emblem and also the Alliance emblem if you have, if you're in an Alliance. Five, four, three, two, one, and then we should get a click or not. Enable now. All right, click and click. So you can see here. Uh, they're shown here as well. They're shown here and here. They are in space. I didn't really feel that and back here there's the Drake look at that a hordling very very cool and you can see it also has like a little animation as well oh and they even have pretty cool corp logo uh, so that one is here at the front and then here is the Alliance logo and the prophecy even gets two of them uh, in a holographic uh, sense so it's pretty cool and I didn't notice anything I'm gonna actually also look at the Drake because there we go, so there's Pandemic Horde, and that is the uh, Corp logo uh, for that player. Very, very nice, of course. Uh, super high quality here. Look at that. Very, very cool. Uh, oh, let's let's go. I kind of want to... Uh, we might get an order to enable and disable a couple of times. I'm actually going to reopen the fitting window lagged a little bit look around now if you see the emblems on the other ship so we definitely saw them there let's go for the uh, phoenix here what do we got definitely i'm not sure so uh, to my shame i'm gonna have to uh, uh be uh, numb on a lot of these alliance logos but that's cool and definitely a custom one as well uh that i think is in game but this is this is definitely a custom one too. Very, very cool. Let's see where it's at on a revelation. If we can spot any. Uh, that's just a corp logo. So no alliance logo on that one. Uh, Gnosis. Kind of curious if we get anything on this one. A little bit too dark. Can't notice it. All right. Too bad. Let's go. Uh, you should, for example, see the CCP logo on his Drake. Uh, so here we go. We actually have a Rifter from CCP as well. Let's go take a look at that. There we go. Look at that. That's actually a pretty nice spot as well. Um, not purely vertical or purely uh, horizontal. In fact, that's... Ooh, that's... Uh, they probably have the corporation logo here as well which ccp has a unique one uh for that one too and then oh we can we can actually look like this for instance here there's an oracle vault has an alliance and right at the front that is that is cool as well the oracle i have to say that is very very cool look at that um da -da -da, still no other yeah no other ones so Harbinger with SPD on it. Do we have... So that's the generic logo, I think. Um, a Phoenix, we've seen that. I kind of want to get a Revelation on there. Get a Hurricane. Also right at the top. Okay. You should... Yeah, that's doable. And so... We know who they are now. Cyclone, BBBC. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, Brave, Phoenix. There we go. Even with the text. Now that's, that's also... 
pretty high quality. You can see on the B and the E, just on like on, on my logo, uh, there's a little bit of like a smudge. CSP has done that for like copyright purposes. Uh, but that's working as well. Nagelfar from Vaults. Let's go take a look. Do we see anything? Can we spot? Yeah, all up there. All right. That's pretty cool too. Uh, revelation from Vault as well. We should be able to see that. I'm really curious. Where is it at? Oh, at the back. And then there's the corporation logo. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it definitely works. Couple of hiccups here and there, but I have to say, it feels to me like it's definitely working quite nicely. Um, and here, of course, is one that you won't see in space very much, as it's more of a solo player thing for me. But it's there. It's very, very, very cool. And so, on top of that, for the skin, that's working quite nicely. And it's basically like a 2D thing. You can make it almost disappear. So that's working. FPS is holding uh, DC. Let's go take a look at you. Revelation, so that's on the back. Damn. Uh, misclicked on that, or he's a little bit close. Get ready to disable. All right. Let's see if we can still take a look. Generic still. All right. Um, the test server is also lagging behind a little bit. So not all of the logos, uh, I think, are enabled there. But yeah, we're ready to disable. Disable the emblems now. Just click, click. There they go. They're gone here. They're gone there. So that works. And then now... Brave Cormorant. I think the destroyers have it as well. But it should be disabled. I suspect it'll be on top. I mean, for the Cormorant, that got to be pretty cool as well. Disable the emblems now. C540. Oh, am I still... I'm still going. So I'm actually going to uh, stop pushing ahead. So you can see a little bit of lag here and there on some zooming and unzooming, but all right, let's reapproach them maybe. Join the pack. And my PC is definitely doing its best. And oh, we had a Talos as well. Maybe it's disabled. I'm not sure where that one was, but I have bought the. Um, the license basically for the Talos as well. If I had one, could have used it. That's the not a skinned one, but lots of skins, so it's looking like it's working. All right. Get ready for stress test. Uh oh, what's that gonna be? I'll probably enable, disable, enable, disable, something like that. So we'll, we'll try to eek to get a little closer. But we are ready. Enable and disable quickly three times in a row and keep them enabled then now. So enabled once, gonna quickly look, disabled, enabled twice, disabled and enabled for a third time. I don't really notice, I mean there's definitely a pattern here <laughs> in the FPS thing. Uh, but doesn't seem to do too much. Um, and then I'll just go look around a little bit more. His is not enabled, I don't think. I think it's dorsal. Oh no, there we go. Oh, in, out. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So now from third person, in, out, in, out. There we go. <laughs> little, little ghosty logo. 
That's four, five, six times, I think, but... So, that's definitely increasing the stress tests. Enable, disable, enable, disable. I'm actually gonna stop my ship here at this point. But even that, I'm assuming that that felt pretty responsive. Uh, although I can't, of course, know exactly what the player is doing when it comes to the clicking because at the moment it's disabled uh, and then here we look at that pretty cool where's the corp one on this oh back here probably another drake right there corp logo Anything we haven't, so Nagalfar Revelation, yeah, the Gnosis, he's definitely in an alliance. And could have been like at the front, but don't really see it, the bottom. Uh, so they're enabled, I think we can stop this now. Okay, not seeing it. Le uh, Cormorant, Cormorant, let's go, go, go. Is it on? There we go, brave. Look at that. Right there. Phoenix. Uh, I think those were in the shop as well. But could be uh, that... Uh, yeah, there's no alliance here. So unfortunately, we won't be able to see that. Then we get a Synesis. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Very cool. Definitely a custom one as well. That's pretty cool. Dock at the Keepstar now with the emblems enabled. Right, let's dock up. And we go back inside and we dock. Look at that. Here it is. Did take a bit of a dive here in the performance, but I feel like we recovered pretty quickly. And I'm not sure if there's something like uh, corporation logos that are custom. I don't think so. I think it's only Alliance logos. But obviously people are gonna start screaming for that now. How cool would, would it be to have a prophecy fleet? And I can then also watch that corporation logo be unique. Uh, but for an entire fleet, that does look like extra threatening. Like this. <laughs> and then here we get two of these holograms on the prophecy. I do kind of wonder now, uh, I think I can do a test for that, so I know that I have it for the Talos for instance, so if I do now a show info and I click on this, then we oh, we can preview the skins but we can't preview uh, the heraldry here, alright, good to know. Undock now with the emblems enabled, undocking. There we go, there we are, Corp logo at the front, Alliance logo showing up and Corp logo is visible here on me and names doesn't always work. There we go, Alliance logo visible as well, Rifter, can I see it? Yep, I think I saw it for a moment, not too easy to spot. Up here, Oracle. Oracle is honestly a Mars ships. Um, so far for me are definitely taking the cake and then the Oracle is in my opinion so cool that you get there's the Alliance front and center definitely bigger than your corp logo and then up here you've got your corporation this as far as I can tell so far for me is the coolest setup and if you if you would have a full fleet of those and then you'd get uh, like them passing by like this and all of them would have the same thing same um, skin etc that would be incredibly incredibly cool uh, so very very nice Ooh, I kind of want to see that as well so that Phoenix has a very animated uh, skin but I'm not seeing there we go, another one that we haven't seen uh, before. What could 
possibly go wrong. Right, and then here we get the weapons. <laughs> Very cool. Ooh, and look at that at the front here as well. And then here, that's pretty nice too, honestly, for the Phoenix. So here you get your corporation, and then here you get your alliance, both visible right on the front. And ooh, we haven't seen the Galente one, I don't think so either. Uh, or is that a revelation? And we just haven't seen it's at both at the front as well. Did I? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that revelation. Now that looks like a pirate thing. Super cool. Super cool. With a dark skin on top of that. Very, very nice. So again, Amar taking the cake with that uh, front alliance. And then um, Corp logo right above that. So there you can see now the Alliance logo at the back as well. Actually feels like it's smaller than the front one. So, but this, this is one of the coolest combos yet. So super dark skin and then super dark with red uh, logo. That definitely wins out so far for me. So we're still good. Uh, we got a Brudix. I don't think I've looked at that one yet so dorsal and then you do have something at the front but it looks like it's just a corp logo so what a nerf what a nerf for galente so corp at the back corp at the front and then here is your alliance logo compare that to the oracle If you have skins uh, available for your current ship, get ready to activate it. Uh, but wait for the command. All right. Let's see if that'll hold on. So we got to go to skins. I got a couple. Um, I don't have all of these on the queue, by the way. I bought uh, quite a few of these just to be ready for the mass tests. Let's get like, like this. We can see everything. And I'm still cruising on ahead, I think. I think we'll be stopping now. We have some skins, FPS 59, local 150, and all feels good. Definitely another hiccup here. But let's keep in mind, it's still not that bad, and CCP is probably doing stuff uh, at the back end here while all of this is happening. So please change skins now. All right, so here is then the Abyssal Firestorm. Skin, ooh, don't see the logo right away. It pops in after a little while. Uh, let's go to biosecurity. It, go oh, it flashes, it, it actually fades out. And then there we go, we are back. And I think that's gonna be tied to, uh, if you look closely, you can see that there's like, uh, just like with the screens and everything in the game, there's like this refresh animation where you get a light that basically passes over it. So let's go for cold iron. We zoom out. You can see it fades out on this one and then we are back and then you get that, that full animation. Exoplanet is pretty cool as well. Although uh, the thing is for the for this ship, it's, it's in a dark spot. Um, so you always basically have black behind it. And so the coolest one, iron blood is nice too. Very cool skin. Like that, uh, but uh, yeah, Triglavian Twilight. That's as dark as it gets, and then you get that uh, cloud, blood, smoky animation that starts on top of it. Very cool. So we're gonna run the rest of the tests with this one, and maybe we can look at some. So Phoenix, did that one have everything? Yeah, at the front as well, but. It is just a corp logo, just a corp logo. Oh, but uh, all right, front top, uh, you do get your alliance logo. So you do have basically a view where both of them are visible. Um, but yeah, revelation. That's how it should be. <laughs> that is so cool. That is very, very cool. Warp to XBV gate, skins and emblems should be enabled. All right, uh, Stargates, XBV, warp within zero. Warp 
as we can see all the dreadnoughts start to turn as well someone even goes is that minus 10 oh look at that we're in warp we're all coming together and brave very very noticeable revelation absolutely beautiful the shack doesn't have anything brutix is yeah, nerfed because it's just your corp logo at the front and can we finally see something on this gnosis let's go take a look at that if we can yeah so it is on the side here that has to be i think the alliance logo not sure where the corp logo is going to be but that's all fine and now a little bit of a hiccup again but we're still alive so that's good Is that, uh, yeah, I think that's the front, yeah, and so, doesn't have an alliance, I guess, ooh, very cool too, very nice from uh, whoever this is, CCP Kistrel, uh, in an obelisk, look at that, CCP here, but of course, they have, um, they have that huge advantage, um, that uh, their uh, CCP logo for corporation and for the alliance is the exact same thing, so that's why can i just do like a show info to confirm that uh pilots show info Oof, man i am getting killed but i think that's because of um i think that's because of something ccp is doing fps down to 11. We're slowly recovering. Do we have tie-dye or anything? No. And then if I... Can I do like a show info on this? No, but you can see here, that's their corporation logo. So that's definitely... Un yes, something happens. Uh, jump and align to point dot. All right, let's do that. I think that's a CCP thing there. That huge <laughs> drop-off in FPS. We're back at 60. And I apparently need to approach the gate. Let's see if I can speed that up. There we go. Confirm that this works. Jumped through. 95 already. So that's definitely okay. And then we get Stargate. Boy dots. And a line. So there we go. And now custom alliance skins. That would be the next thing, of course. But down here. Ah, oh, they've got the same skin, but his don't seem to be enabled. But that's also pretty cool. Although here it doesn't really mesh too well with the Amar logo. Uh, well, like that it's at least symmetrical, but... Alright, that's maybe the one thing. Or is... Yeah, now there's lots of logos all over the place. I'm not really sure. Maybe that's part of the skin then? Okay, not sure. So would that be the alliance? No, I thought we had two really custom things. Yeah, there we go. We can definitely confirm that over here. Uh, we've got Alliance logo, Corporation logo. So this is actually part of the skin that was selected here. Okay, got it. We are aligned. We are... Using the heraldry. And up here we still have someone as well. I'm going to take a look at that. So there it's yeah, disabled. There you get Corp uh, Alliance. And then you've got... Uh, corp logo that is that I think that's in the game right this uh, and then you get the Amar logo behind it so that that's maybe not the best spot uh, for the corp logo actually for the revelation maybe they deserve that nerve of course because they still have fortunately it's not enabled here 
but they do have the coolest combination with the Oracle. Uh, disable, oh, sorry, I was a little bit late here. So now I have to disable them now. Uh, emblems, and they are off. And that's why they were disabled on the Oracle, probably. <laughs> emblems are off. And enable them again now and I could really see that I was I was looking at that uh, revelation and I could in fact see it happen on the revelation uh, and then I looked at chat yeah the order was given so it does make sense but again here it is then that is so cool that is perfect placement and then you even have your Amar emblem up there as well very very cool A little bit of patience will be shooting stuff pretty soon and I don't think we have a lot of logic or anything like that so probably won't be long for the battle um, but we'll fly our colors in here as well we are adding one test step after this warp before jumping so please do not lemming okay so the warp to point dots uh, bup, 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 and then so warp within zero. Warp drive active. Would be cool if I would be in a tunnel with someone else and then we could, there we go. So even in a warp tunnel, corporation uh, logo at the back of the Brudix and the front as well. And then maybe it doesn't have an Alliance logo, uh, but that nerfed the Oracle. Look how clear that is <laughs> how much more visible that is and then they even have like a changeable logo that that changes with your skin and here's again a more revelation brave with their corp logo coming straight in that's so cool that's no so cool um nerf amar although here the side of the phoenix is really nice as well phoenix has a pretty nice layout too i think corp right here that's visible from the front and then to the sides as well and then at the back you get corp again here, yeah, we're basically, so from the front, there's like no way to see your Alliance logo. We should get that like right here on the front or something like that as well. <laughs> and there's probably the test step. I'm not sure exactly what's happening here, but I'm going to zoom out to see if I can recover more quickly from whatever the hell it is that's happening. Okay. So those are, I think, fireworks indeed. Yeah, they'll still be going off now. There we go. Extra step. Keep spamming, enabling and disabling emblems for a bit until I say stop. Start now. God damn it, I don't have my fitting window open. Uh, so just start spamming them. Click, 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 click. So there is definitely, so I can't like double click and then get two actions or something like that. Right, it needs to load, um, load again, and you can only do one at a time. So that's definitely right while this is loading or I, I can try again. So this is loading. Can I, I can't really click then or there's no response to my clicks on the other logo. So it's, it is one at a time. Enabled, enabled, disabled. Took a while, disabled, was a little bit faster, click, click, and then I, uh, can I maybe zoom in to try and see some of them in game as well on the screen, let me know, uh, so here we do have a pretty clear corp logo, there we go, it's off, and it's back on already, I'm just gonna keep clicking, Oop. there we go, there we go, there we go, click, click, Fortunately, there, so there is an Alliance logo we can also try to keep an eye on. Click, click. I just keep clicking. Stop now. Okay. And it's just on enable. So that's that. And it's visible here. Yep, that works.
So that's that. Not sure what the uh, couple of dives were. Basically on... No, not on... Yeah, on landing on grid or a little bit after landing on grid. And keep them enabled. So mine are enabled, of course. <laughs> All right, fleet W, jump to point dot and set up the camp. There we go. And we have a brave cormorant that's not in W. And some fighters on the field, uh, 20 kilometers. Can I go take a look at him? Oh, he went back through the gate, all right. And here we get a Drake as well. Let's see if he has any. So there we go, heraldry, front and center, but no alliance, so no alliance logo at the top. And yeah, you don't want to jump like too early, <laughs> as he'll get targeted. Maybe I can like keep an eye on it and see if it does anything. We still have, you know, you can see here the animation going. It's firing back. It's already in armor. We won't have any problems going down in style, I don't think. I'm just gonna orbit that current. Um, see what we can find. But uh, I do think that uh, Fleet X will have the numbers on us. I don't think I can take a look at that. Well, 80 to 65. They have the numbers on us, but it's not by all that much. Someone up here is being attacked. Condi. Alright, can we take a look at that? Not anymore. <laughs> and, and the Rifter. The Rifter actually, uh, although he's being attacked here already, that's pretty cool as well. Right from the top, you can see everything. Uh, the Alliance logos, and I think this is going to be the Corp logo, which again, CCP has both of them being the same. I wish I could do that. That would be cool as well. If uh, I could make that the Alliance logo. Ensure that you are in jump range. Alright. Seeing some dreads come through as well. Fleetix jump fight. Free PvP is now allowed in point dots. Anything that we could... Like try to go after, is that like a criminal? Can't even... He is... A target. I'm gonna do... My three large ones. We'll lose them pretty quickly anyway I think. But we can go after him. Oh, and I should approach. Try and get my long point on him. So let's go. Yep, got the point as well. So that cyclone is now being targeted. Ogres coming in, and uh, we can keep an eye on, or an eye, an ear on the sound as well, which uh, should be less overwhelming and crackling at this point as well. So that's okay. Did he jump? I think he jumped. Oh, he ju yeah, jumped back into the gate. Yeah, all right, makes sense. Uh, fleet members and targets. Oh, that was the last target call or broadcast. Anything new? Target, target, target. We'll just go after something ourselves. Orbit. I'll just do a current since we're in range anyway. There we go. First bit of damage coming in already. Uh, and I should put that here. Press it too so that the Harbinger doesn't escape. But there we go. Look at that. We are in, in the middle of a battle. And uh, your own alliance is represented by your own ship. That's pretty cool. Very cool, actually. Increased size of the watch lists. Yeah, you can do that. Ogres again taking some damage. Uh, get another cyclone here. Let's go. Orbit, 7-5. Engage, 3-2, go, go. 
we've been spared so far. He's also launching some missiles. Ooh, now I've been targeted heavily by the Brudix from Woodroffe. Let's go. Let's counter that. Let's start repping. And then we'll do a 2 and a 3. Engage. And I don't even have charges for that, but alright. Let's go. And a missing him again as well. Now I'm losing my mouse. That's my problem of course. Retargets. Let's go. Let's actually do an approach on that. But there he is. So they are going and we are counter. Trying to do a little bit of repping. Can we see the logos? Yeah, at the front you do. Oh yeah, that, that looks really good too. Uh, but again, the... Um, I think that's going to be the Corp logo right there. Yeah, and then that's the Alliance logo. Compare that to the Oracle. Uh, oh man, my poor Ogre is going down. But I, I've got some, uh, some other drones at ready as well. While well, he's already in structure. I'm completely mobilized though. And maybe structure tanks because he's holding on. There we go. So I'm going to deploy. I think you can do two and a one. Yep, exactly. F, go, go, go. Adding more drones. I'm still holding a little bit, but uh, he's got a lot of structures. Two drones. They're doing all right. They're doing all right. Good. <laughs> there we go. I'm just approaching you still have my point on him but I think he's got way more structure than me he's halfway and I, I still have some cap capacitor left do, do I have any of the oh I actually do have cap boosters as well so I could even try to overload let's do that I always forget this so low rack I think is overloaded at this point there we go. And then I'm actually going to inject my cap as well. While we keep firing. And then the Brutix is pulling away and starting to fire at something else. So the chase is on. Cap's coming in. I think I can stop the overload. And I can actually try and speed up a little bit. So that I can stay close enough to him. Make sure he doesn't coast away from my point. And now we can actually try and destroy him. I did just increase my... Signature by quite a lot, but that's okay. Let's keep going. Very cool. And you thought I was an easy target. No, we're not. Still have lots of cap left. I am starting to run out of armor. Yeah, oh, re overload. Go, go. Overload the low rack. Come on, get the reps going. Get him down. Uh, yep, still have my five drones going. So that should be decent DPS. He should not be able to get away. But unless he can still get me before I get him. And I'm not sure what that... Oh, he's still up. God damn, that was close. <laughs> but very, very good, good and cool fight, I think. Uh, Performance-wise, yeah, 30, 40 FPS. But I do feel like I could do everything that I had to do uh, on this one. So that was pretty cool. And then, of course, there's no heraldry on our capsule anymore. So, get away it out just a little bit more. We'll take a look. Uh, 45 minutes. So, we can definitely try and take a look a little bit more. Uh, emulator. What the hell is that? That's really cool. Oh, that's very cool. Look at that. Um, does the roach have anything enabled? Just out of curiosity. No, it does not. Uh, maybe frigates. If there's any left, like a rifter. Something that's moving fast. No, there's just a couple more. Here. That's the corp logo. Ooh, that doesn't look that good in my opinion but all right and then the alliance logo not enabled here so 
There we go. Feel free to post feedback. Amar just has the best placements, except here, yeah, corporation, and then uh, this part of the logo that's usually on their skins uh, does have a little bit of a conflict on it. Hurricane, just bye bye. No, there it is. Kind of want to look at that one as well. Where is the corp stuff? Maybe it's not enabled on this one. Is like that's of course always an option as well. Um, by the way, you can only enable the alliance logo so that you get a true uniform uh, but unique uh, look uh, for uh, for the ships in your fleet, which uh, I think is maybe what Brave and some of the larger alliances. Um, pandemic Horde here, sorry, uh, will uh, will be going for. So yeah, there we go. Uh, we're starting to get fireworks and everything as well, so we won't lose too much. Maybe we'll look at the explosion here from the Phoenix to end this. But that was it for this mass test. From my perspective, pretty good. Everything worked uh, and was responsive. And uh, yeah, there we go. Alliance logos and corporation logos on ships. Uh, it seems to be working. Let's see if I can jump through. Not open cargo. Can't I select the gate? There we go. Jump through. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you next time.